All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the stream. How are y'all doing today? I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for being here today. We are back officially. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks, but I am officially back from my vacation, which is exciting. And we are straight back to running these dungeons because uh, I missed it. Um, this week's dungeon, guys, is called Quest of the Poacher. It's a medium difficulty swamp dungeon. Loot this week is the tech scuba mask, a tech chest piece, a flak helmet, and a Mosasaur tech saddle. Should be pretty good. Uh, boss should be the Cubazoa, the jellyfish. So we're looking forward to that. All right, let's just go ahead and hop on in. I think I have enough stuff. Now, there is a Titanosaur room, guys, so you'll probably need uh, quite a bit of ammo. Oof, loading lag. Give it a second. All right. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. We shall see. All right. Let's get some of these. Oof, this is like one of the old format dungeon uh, maps. There we go. Still no floor textures. I'm hoping they'll fix that someday. All right. Let's go. Ooh, I missed one. Where is it? It's down here. All right, we're going to run down here and grab this loot crate. We have several loot crates off the starting room that I'm grabbing before we head in. Uh, welcome, everybody. Gecko, thank you. I'm excited to be back. Face cam. I do not use face cam on dungeon streams specifically because it does block um, a significant portion of the screen and makes it harder for you guys to see what's in the dungeon. I might use one on Sunday this week. We shall see. Depends on how I'm feeling. Do, do, do. Uh, how was my vacation, Zachary? It was fantastic. Um, I went to Ireland, and it was a really, really lovely time. It's the first uh, vacation I've ever taken in my life, and uh, oh boy, did I need it. I didn't realize how nice it would be to not have to work for two weeks because <laughs> I'm so used to being busy all the time. Um, it was it was actually incredible. So I had a really good time and uh, I loved it very much. But I am very excited to be back and very excited to be playing my games again. I did miss them. All right. So this is not an event room. Uh, it's just a bonus room. There's so many loot crates this week to get to. There we go. Energy brews. Do, do, do. And then we go this way. Yes, this way. Once again, my sense of direction is very disoriented. So bear with me, guys. It's a little, a little rough. Um, all right, I'm going to grab these two loot crates, and then we will be at our very first event room which I'm excited about, right below us. I will not step, I did step in the poison. I said I wasn't going to, and I did anyway. All right, so this is a Castoroidy with Otter Minions, so I'm gonna pull uh, this guy out for the beaver. There we go, if I could click on it, that'd be great. Really interested to see the Titan room. This is the third time that this dungeon has been shown for this game. Um, so I've done that room, uh, a couple of times at this point. It's quite good. It's very fun. Now, the beaver does hurt, by the way. He, uh, he does quite a number on the, the armor, so just be aware. I'm trying to get a little space. There we go. Alright, goodbye otters. The otters are max level. If you want an otter, this is a good week for it. Uh, if you want a beaver, this is a decent week for it because they're 140s. Um, not terrible. Pretty easy room. Because they're just otters. All right, simple rifle ammo. That guy. Mosasaur, pla uh, Mosasaur platform saddle. There we go. I said it right. Um... So the beaver does do a little chunk of damage on your armor, so don't let it hit you too many times. Kill it quick. That's the dream. Uh, let's go get this. This should be the facility key. 
So everything I'm doing after this is going to be just loot run um, on this side of the map. I don't even think there's another room on this side of the gate. There are Jerboas this week as well. All right, that's the facility key. So let's go do... If you missed it, it's that square little room right beneath the uh, Castoroidian Otter Room. Uh, Monsef, thank you. I did have a very nice vacation. Very, very nice. It was so much fun. And uh, I'm really excited to be back. But man, it was so nice to have two weeks where I didn't have to think about uh, life. It was good. Uh, checking for rooms and things. I think we're okay. Traps. If you're not hit in a dungeon, do you lose all items? No selling. Yes, you lose all the items you have on you. Anything on you or equipped to you, you will lose if you die in a dungeon. I believe the exception is if you're on casual mode, you'll just lose all the items in your inventory, but the things you have equipped will stay equipped, I think. It's been a long time since I've played casual. Um... It's a little funky. It's different. All right. Now, this is a swamp jump trap. It is optional. But it's kind of a pain. Whee. All right. There we go. like to jump the whole thing in one go because it's better. Uh, slightly less painful. Man, it has been a while since I've played as a while. It's been like two weeks since I've even touched a game crazy all right focal chili let's grab this one and then I've got uh, we'll grab this little guy and then do the long one lots of water rooms this week which is lovely Ooh, I got an ascendant assault rifle never know if those are any good though your bow is in the way all right, so now we're going to do this one. And this is another um, swamp jump trap. And then at the end of it, there is a premium. So they are optional, these two. Just be aware. But they are, you know, they're a thing. They exist. Not everybody likes swamp jumps, and I don't blame you. Not everybody likes jump traps in general. All right, so this should be a normal loot. And then this one should be a premium. Yes, we got a wall sconce. I actually love those. Those are my favorite way to light bases in mobile. I think the wall sconces look amazing. Did we make it? We made it. I was nervous, but we made it. All right, now we got to go back through the other swamp jump trap. Poison. Poison. Okay. Kay, hello. How's it going? You've missed me. I've missed you, Kay. How are things? How are you? Welcome, welcome. So excited to see you. I am stuck on a wall. There we go. All right. Swamp jump's done. Uh, that's it for those. There's one more swamp jump trap right after the facility gate. So we'll be doing that in just a minute here, because that's where we're headed next. I can, I can do this. Haha. -ha. I'm reoriented. I know where I'm going. It's lovely. Ah. Tired of the poison, though. Man, you can really tell the difference in the old maps versus the new maps on dungeons. Like, the the more recent dungeons had much less fuzzy maps. Very interesting. Uh, that's not it. It's over here. I turned once too soon. Down this way? Alright, through this. I can make it. Yes. There we go. Okay, okay. So I think we go over this away. Yes, we do. And we've got facility door. Lovely. Uh, a crate right here. 
And then we've got the actual swamp jump right here. Uh, there, now you can see the map. I'm going to go ahead and throw up a save real quick, guys, because this is where it gets good. Um, this is the last swamp jump trap. It's the only one that's not optional. There you go. Uh, let's go ahead and throw up the save button real quick. It's been two weeks, so I'm just not sure I can make it through another swamp jump trap without a mishap. Well, bear with me, guys. Is 225 damage assault rifle good damage? Uh, Fifi, it's okay, but that's not going to be your best weapon for damage against um, dinos, and the uh, bullets are very heavy. So I don't recommend assault rifles uh, for dungeon runs. I do recommend more things like shotguns or pump action shotguns. They do tend to do better damage against the dinos. Um, compound bows are also pretty good, but they are sometimes trickier to work with. Uh, obviously a good melee weapon is critical. Now, assault rifles can be good, but again, the, uh, uh ammo is very heavy. It's a little iffy. Whoops. I stepped into it before I announced it. Uh, it's a compy room, guys, and you're slow. And they're big compies. They're big babies. I'm going to use my sword because uh, they're huge, so why not? There you are. Okay. Step a little over here. They kind of do block each other, so it helps to stand against the wall or in a corner, but it's not critical. Oh, that's it. Threat's been cleared. Okay. Now I can have one of my medical brews. I've stepped on so many poison vents at this point. Uh, I'm going to drop all of that because I don't need it. Uh, we're going to grab this loot crate. Ooh, we got a cutlass. That's nice. I don't still have that on, do I? I was thinking I still had my symbiote on. Um, all right, we'll go... Haha, -ha, here. The loot crate up here just for fun. Poison. Always poison. Just don't have good shotgun damage luck. It took me, like, ages to find a good shotgun. So I feel ya on that part. Uh, just keep keep running the strong cave. Keep running as many dungeons as you can. You'll eventually get one that's good enough to, to do this with. But, uh, yeah. It, it can take a while. I say after it took me two years to get a decent one from, uh, from dungeons. All right, let's go down here. This one. Plessy platform saddle. All right, where am I? Um. Okay, this is an optional room, guys. Completely optional room. Just so you know, it's a titanosaur room. We're going to do this one. You're getting a puppy tonight? Ooh, a fox red lab. Oh, I bet that's going to be so cute. I need to see all the pictures. Whoa! Don't let it hit you. But it has a terrible, terrible turn radius, just so you know. But a very big AoE, so don't let it get close to you. I recommend running into a corner. Because it'll have a real hard time uh, getting out of the corner. Just like that. And then you can kind of just load up on the bullets. Now, it doesn't have nearly as much health as you'd think. You can get it stuck on this little set of bones over here.
I'm gonna keep my distance. Now, you will need quite a bit of ammo for it. Tyler, it has been a while. Welcome back, everybody. So excited to see you all. Am I gonna visit you guys on PvE someday? Well, yes, absolutely. Um, we are well past time for a community day. Maybe that's what we'll do on Sunday. Tiny Titan, yes, yes. It's very small, and once you get it stuck on these bones, like, it's not going anywhere. So, this is uh, probably one of the best ways to attack it. It's just solid red, this poor thing. I'm afraid to get too close because it might stomp me. They do hurt, like, a lot. You beat the Beta Megapithecus with Theres and your Rex Relic. Ooh, there you go, Tyler. Yeah, definitely tame that Tech Rex. A shoulder Pet Titan. Yeah, they're almost small enough for it. You can see that this room is pretty easy to cheese uh, once you get it following you correctly. Not too bad, but there are some premiums off of this, which is lovely. Two premium chests. If I'm correct, there should be an Easter egg hat skin in one of these chests. Which is always a good time. Does take a lot of ammo, though, so be aware. Luckily, it's the uh, jellyfish boss, so it's a different type of ammo than I would use for the normal boss fight. Redito, that sounds lovely. What kind of lunch are you having? 100% totally wouldn't break your shoulder. Definitely not, Phoebe. Not if it's this small. Can you imagine if it weighed the same as it does when it was that big? Oh. There we go. Where is it? Just so you know, guys. Um, you can revive this Titan. I think. I'm going to grab the implant just in case. I think this is a way to get an eerie titan. I don't know how well it works, but, you know. I think you can revive it. I'm not sure, but I'm keeping the implant either way. It's been a while since I've tested it. Um, I can do this. There we go. And then this should be an Easter egg hat skin. Indeed it is, Easter egg hat, because this was an Easter dungeon, very briefly. Um, Alright, so there's a couple more loot crates up here that are normal that we're going to get. Every time with the poison, I run straight into it. I'm not careful enough. There we go. Ah, Flutterful. Beautiful. Alright, we're going to go this way. And then up for the last one. Eh. Okay, this way. Do, do, do. Why? You can revive it? I don't know. I can't remember. I will show you guys when I'm out of the dungeon. Do, 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 do. But I thought you could. Maybe not because it's a titanosaur. I don't know if they're revivable. I don't, I don't think so. Maybe not. Um, it's been a very long time since I've tried to revive a titanosaur, I'll be honest. Did I grab this one? Yes, I did. That's the other loot, premium loot. Okay. So, that was completely optional. I did it for fun and profit. Um, and now we head down to the rest of the dungeon, which is very short. One more event room. I'll wait for that. I can make it through that, though. There we go. I'm gonna grab this. Journeyman simple pistol. And then we've got a very long, skinny event room here. Well, we're hungry. Let's eat some food. All right, so this is an RG room, cold temp RG room. Doo, 
Looks like there are three birds in a wave. Ah! They're very large, these Argies. Okay, I killed that one. It's so hard to see them. Ah! Run, 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 run. Get myself a little distance. They're very quick, these guys, because they're big. That didn't count. There's one. They're so big! Okay, there we go. If I can get a shot on them, they're a one-hit kill. They're just huge. All right. And that's, uh, that's it. So, it's a good RG week. I love the ragdoll effect. Uh, it's so interesting. All right, let's go get the last couple bits of, uh, loot here. Eh, run. All right, so... We'll go get the text structure. And then we'll go get the featured loot. And then we'll do the boss fight, and that's it. Uh, it's not a very long one, so that's the... That was the tech structure at the beginning of the RG room. At the end of the RG room is the boss fight. And then way back here is the uh, featured loot. Not this one. Not the one across from it. The one at the end of the hall. This one. Used to be able to revive Titans. Thought they'd removed it for servers, maybe still works in single player. Yeah, I thought so. I'm gonna check. It doesn't hurt to check. I'll look at the implant. Eh. So slow. So slow. Do, do, do. Featured loot. Bottom left corner. Tech chest piece. There we go. Alrighty getting comfy um and off we go to the boss fight to the teleporter that is not the way down there we go one more there it is eh, eh, poison Okay. And the boss teleporter is up here. So, there we go. Not bad. We've done pretty well so far. I'm pretty happy with it, for sure. Alright, we're gonna drink some water. We're gonna eat until our food is full. We're gonna put on our flippers. Because it should be the jellyfish boss. We're gonna get this out. Make sure we're ready to go, and I'm going to throw up a quick save. Wait, I'm going to start the weekly pursuit first, and then I'm going to throw up a quick save. Two seconds, guys. Two seconds. It's been a couple of weeks. I lost my rhythm. All right. Manual save. Leave arc. Is that web on the floor? Smooth. Yes. Uh, the swamp dungeons have webbing on the axe traps to make you move through them a little slower. That's all. Yes, you have a 15x one. That'll help a little. There we go. Should be Jellyfish Boss. Is Jellyfish Boss. Alright, it's been a minute. Let's uh, see if I can remember how to do this. Woo! I know I'm doing damage because I can see it in the upper corner. Hard to read, though. Okay. Should 
be one or two more arrows that'll do it. Oh, one more. Just shy. There we go. I've missed both of those shots. There we go. I just need to aggro them. There we go. Nope. It wasn't drawn back the arrow. That's one down. Kill the one over here. Alright, there we go. So that should be the two big guys. Everything from here on out should die in one shot, in theory. We get a nice little collection. That's a lot of jellyfish. All right. I didn't hear that one split, so I think that was the last one for that guy. That one split. Ooh! One of those just disappeared. Here we go. Where was I for two weeks? I was on vacation uh, in Ireland for two weeks. Hence why I uh, wasn't able to stream for two weeks. It was a pretty crazy trip. It was pretty busy and did not have easy access to computer. Yeah. All right, I'll go after one of these. I'll attack the ones that want to follow me. I have no problem with that. Whoops. Wah! Didn't like being in a corner with that guy. All right. We're slowly getting to the end of the group. I think I'm whittling them down a little bit. Do, do, do. All right, three left. That's it. Got them all. That was one of the easier uh, jellyfish fights I've had. All right, let's teleport out before I starve to death. Uh -huh. Perfect. Uh, can you use a tech rifle for jellyfish? I don't believe so. You are underwater. I'm not sure if the tech rifle works underwater. I haven't tested that in a while. Um, but it's fine. Like, you don't really need it. Uh, the compound bow is pretty good. I don't like to waste element in dungeons, honestly. It's You can, for sure, especially if you're on single player. But um, I prefer not to take my tech items into the dungeon in case I do mess up and, uh, and die. Okay, so... This is not revivable. The Titanosaur is not revivable, unsurprisingly. But it is a cool little trophy. You can take its implant. It's a level 1 Titan. It was eerie. It was cool. Uh, so you can't revive them. 
which is unfortunate. But there you go. Otherwise, guys, uh, it went pretty well. You do get an Easter egg hat. You do get a couple of other premiums. Um, did get quite a few interesting blueprints this time. Those are Apprentice. An Ascendant Assault Rifle, which is all right. That one wasn't great, but, you know, they can be all right. But otherwise, uh, medium difficulty dungeon, only four event rooms and none of them are very hard. And that's one of the easier bosses if you have flippers. So I highly recommend giving it a try this week. I do think this is a good week for people who are fairly new to dungeons to give it a try. Um, you should be all right in this one. You can probably get through almost every room except the Titan room with a sword. So not too bad. All right, guys. I uh, think that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys all so much for watching and hanging out. Super appreciate it. Please remember to hit the like button on your way out, guys. I am back now, so we will be resuming our regular streaming schedule. Uh, so the likes do help me build back up the, the two-week death of the channel, as it were. Um, and yeah, if you do want to see more content like this, guys, you can, of course, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off. This is the Iguana.